what's going on? So, I actually did this DIY yesterday, and I forgot to make the intro, so... What I'm doing is, Disney recently came out with a pair of... Not Disney. Vans came out with pairs of Disney-inspired shoes, and they are all gone now. And most of them sell between $70 to $200 on eBay. I personally don't want to spend that much money on shoes I'm not going to wear as often as other shoes that are like a quarter of the price. So I decided I'm going to do my own. So I had an old pair of Vans I don't really wear anymore. And I revamped them. So all you're going to need is an old pair of like canvas shoes. E600 super glue, like the fabric glue. You want fabric scissors so it doesn't fray the ends. And then whatever fabric you want to use, you need that. And then Mod Podge. And then something to put the Mod Podge onto the shoes. So let's get started. Okay, so what you want to do first is go ahead and unlace the shoes. And I'm just going to put the laces to the side so I can finish them up after. And I'm just moving around the tongue because the two sides of the shoes actually hold over the tongue. And you wouldn't be able to put fabric there. <laughs> Me trying to focus. So now I just cut out like a small enough chunk of the fabric where it would fit on the back heel of the shoe. So that's the back. And I just sort of lined up where I wanted what part of the design to be on the shoe. And that's the glue. And you're just going to want to go ahead and take some. I started in the middle because it's a lot easier to line it around after. So in the middle and I just pushed it on. Squeeze it down a little bit. And then I'm going to leave that to dry for now. And then onto the front, I just cut off way too big of a piece for this. So this is the fabric, and yeah, giant. I'm just lining up so that the villains will be like sort of in the middle of the shoes so you can see them. And now I'm just like sort of cutting around to get off all the extra. So like I'm just sort of like feeling where the edges are, I'm just cutting that part off. And so now I have like a better fitted piece of fabric. I'm just going to put the glue head on the top of the tongue so it will go ahead and stays up there. I'm not putting it over the Vans logo because I'm actually going to cut that out after so you can still see that they're Vans. And now I'm just cutting down the side so whenever it goes back on I can just have one full piece on the front of the shoe. I don't have to have one for the tongue and then one for the other side. You can see what I'm talking about right here, how it's going to go under the pink little ledge. And it's just all one piece of fabric now. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off all this extra that's around the toe of the shoe. So it's not hanging around there. It's a lot easier when you don't have as much stuff in the way. So now I'm just going to go ahead and glue the rest of the tongue in the front half of the shoe down. So I'm just trying to use all the glue out of this little tube. I'm just going to want to squeeze it and like sort of spread it around. And so, because you don't want to bunch in one spot, or else it's going to actually come to the fabric and make your hands sticky. So you're just going to want to, like, make sure it's sort of tight. The first shoe I did, it wasn't as tight, it's a little bit wrinkled. So you're going to want to make it nice and tight and just push it down. And then, especially for the toe of the shoe when you do this part, you're going to really want to have your hand inside of the shoe. Just because, like, it will, when you push it down, it's going to push inside some. And that's what I'm doing there, so I can just have a flat, hard area to push against. And then over on the side, I just had to cut it a little more so it would fit a lot better and wouldn't, like, get in the way. So then I'm just going to, like, glue down that side just like I did with the tongue. And again, you just want to put your hand in there so you have something hard to push against. I'm just going to do the exact same thing for the other side. Now I'm just going to like cut it sort of so it fits it a little better. Now I have the front done. Now for the back, I'm literally doing the exact same thing, spreading around the glue on the gray part of the shoe and just pushing it down.
So I actually forgot to film the back part of me doing the shoe. But all I did was take the scissors and sort of cut, try to get as, as close as I could on the front part of the shoe and just cut all around there and the top. So now what I'm going to do is I just glued some extra on the sides and now I'm going to take the Mod Podge and I have like a sponge brush because I don't want to actually destroy a real brush because it does harden. I'm just sort of like rubbing it. I got way too much on the back. So now I'm just sort of like spreading it out evenly amongst the shoe. And this is going to give it sort of a glossy-ish coat, like, top to it, and it's also going to help it set in. And you can't even see the shoe in this part. Oh, good job, Lisa! So, yeah, that's all I'm doing is just painting throughout it, so you can get a nice top coat. And I'm not painting, oh, I sort of painted the Vans thing because I already got some on there. But on the other shoe, I didn't paint the Vans, and it looks fine without it. And if you get some on the side, it's fine. I just wiped it off a little bit because it was a, like a bunch. And if you get it on the other parts of the shoe, like the pink, it's fine because it does dry clear. Okay, so I just finished my shoes. All I did was lace them up, and I think they look pretty cool. Got the Evil Queens there. And, yeah. So, I would wear them, but it's starting to pour out. So, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.